first time the family of Tabitha Gatweri Tabs uh, have spoken. Uh, she was a comedian, maybe for what we have And uh, guys, it's so sad because uh, the family have said that Tabitha was poisoned. Alpewasumu na iondio ilisababisha kifo yake. The family have said that uh, the case is in the forest. Na wanafanya juchini to make sure that Tabitha amepata justice. And uh, let me tell you guys, um, cross friends uh, Tabitha Katweri wameongea. Na wamesema kuwa she was in a toxic relationship. She was in a toxic relationship na ilikuwa imempeleka mahali alikuwa in a very very uh, bad situation mpaka um, alikuwa anaona therapist alikuwa na depression yenye ilikuwa mbaya uh, because of that relationship and uh, guys tuliona mpaka therapist wake jana akiongea akasema kuwa amekuwa na gatweri for the last four months akimpatia therapy na ilikuwa uchungu sana to receive the news that uh, Tabitha Gatweri Hayuko and uh, watu wengi sana walikuwa wanafikiria maybe alijitoa uh, uhai uh, although familia haiko imeongea but now uh, <coughs> uh, inasemekana kuwa Tabitha uh, aliuliwa guys ukiangalia ile video yake yenye aliachilia kwa page yake ya mwisho alitaja mwanaume mwenye alikuwa karibu na yeye na mwenye alikuwa mpaka um, amebadilisha jina yake juu ya huo mwanaume na huo mwanaume alisema kuwa alimuona kama bradhake ama rafiki wake wa karibu uh, na lakini huo mwanaume kuna kitu yenye alikuwa anataka kwa Gatweri of which Gatweri hakuweza kudeliver ama hakuweza kupatia huo mwanaume akasema kuwa wanaume ile time yenye mnataka mtu ama kuna kitu yenye mnataka kwa mtu mtu akikataa acheni kwenda huko nje kumharibia jina. Hiyo ndio video yake ya mwisho, the last video yenye Gatweri alieka kwa page yake, kwa page zake guys. Hata si page moja alikuwa ameweka ukiangalia hiyo video iko TikTok, uh, iko Instagram na iko pare Facebook. Na Gatweri alikuwa mtu mwenye alikuwa watu wengi walikuwa wanampenda. Guys, ukiona mtu mwenye anafikisha hmm, 300 almost 400k followers huh, on um, on Facebook. Ukienda on uh, Uh, Instagram the same same huh? ukienda on TikTok the same same thing what walikuwa wanapenda huyo msichana guys what walikuwa wanampenda sana why could someone do such an oh my god mbona hmm? mtu afanyie mtoto wa wenyewe unyama kama huo saa hizi naona mamake analia kwa mtandao anasema heli hata heli ni mimi ningekufa mbona hmm? mtoto wangu Bona mtoto wangu mamake she is very very heartbroken na anasema heli kifo tu inikujia hata mimi i'm tired of this world hmm? why my daughter imagine msichana mwenye alikuwa kama ule msichana mwenye alikuwa ana shine msichana mwenye watu wengi sana walikuwa wanampenda you know ukiangalia video za this lady hmm? alikuwa na kale ka accent yani alikuwa anatumia accent yake huh? to make a living to make life hmm? alikuwa comedian ukisikia venye anaongea hmm? Nimeona wamefanya video mingi na watu kama Vaite Murume mm? na hata kuna ile video moja alikuwa anauliza Vaite Murume ningekufa hiyo video ile trend sana alikuwa anamuuliza ningekufa saa hizi ningekufa saa hizi ile kimeru ningekufa saa hizi uh, unaweza unaweza kama muda gani ndio uoe unaona mm? naye Vaite Murume anamwambia usiongee kitu kama hiyo my friend don't talk about death guys hata mimi sipendi mtu mwenye huwa anaongea mambo ya death because sometimes watu wanaongeanga mambo ya death and you maybe wanatanja ile mambo uh, na kifo yao iko karibu uh, because hiyo video uh, ilifeli sana jana na watu wengi wakasema kuwa huyu uh, msichana alikuwa anaona kifo yake na ndio maana akauliza Vaite Murume hiyo swali guys why could someone poison mtu mwingine and if it was because of the relationship kama ingekuwa juu ya relationship hmm? watu wangu na shidanga tu hapa kumwambia mahali huko huyo mtu mwenye uko na yeye kama amekutendea you feel the person huo ndio amekutendea hebu muache kama si wewe umemtendea uone hmm? tu anakutendea you are in a position of depression mpaka unaenda unalipa pesa zako eh ndio ukuwe unaona therapist unatoa pesa zako unalipa therapist juu ya zile stress zenye uko nazo unaona zitakumaliza hiyo hmm? relationship achana nayo achana nayo huyo msana alikuwa msichana mrembo sana she was very very beautiful na Mungu angempatia mtu mwingine na maybe mtu mzuri na wa maana kuliko huyo. Hmm? 
if it's not working yo sio it's not the end of life as anyone be and don't fear what watasema nini guys watu wanaongea anga kila siku na wana kama ni watu waliongea juu ya ile kinembe ya nyako ili trade watu wakaongea 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 na irisha saa hizi hata yeye mwenyewe anaongea anga na hana she don't even shy about it kama ni video za mtu kama Mary Rincon zile trade za uchi zika trade zika trade zika trade na hiyo ikaisha wale watu bado wako wanaendelea tu na maisha wana face the society hebu angalia video ya mtu kama Georgiana Jenga saa hizi hata video ya Georgiana Jenga nikitaka nitaipata tu it trade like two years ago i think more than two years ago na si bado yuko hai i trade aka trade lakini bado yuko hai kama it's not working don't fear eh hey, sema it's not working and if you feel something is weird enda kwa hiyo page yako record hmm? say guys na feel something is not good eh hey, huyu mwanaume mwenye niko na yeye hmm? naona akinifanyia kitu sema mapema ndio in case of anything to joy hmm? my friend acheni niwaambie let me tell you maisha kuna maisha yengine apart from maisha yenye unaishi and it's matter of time and let me tell you guys watu huwa wana hero hmm? siezi mapenzi siezi ya mapenzi huwa haiumizi huwa inaumiza especially kama unapenda mtu na anakutenda hmm? inaumizanga sana but always remember there is another chance always remember that hmm? usijitoe uhai usijifanyie unyama hmm? na wewe kama uko pale na wewe ni mwanaume usifanyie mtu mwingine unyama kusema ati ukimwacha hutaishi utaishi Eh hey, maybe hata Mungu alikuwa amemweka pale for sometimes juu kuna kitu alikuwa anazuia. Hmm? Ndio maybe kitu kingine iko mbele yako mzuri kuliko ile akupatie my friend. Don't quit because of because of relationship. Usifanye unyama kwa mtu mwingine juu ya mapenzi. Hmm? Ata nasemanga hata juu ya pesa. Hmm? Najua watu wanaibiana, najua watu wanakoniana. Usijue ati mtu amekukoni. Kuna jamaa mwingine niliona amekonua 300k akajitoa uhai. Hmm? Sasa maybe hiyo 300k maybe Mungu alikuwa amemwekea millions of money angeshika kwa hii maisha umejitoa uhai hmm? Guys acha ni niwaambie we really struggle na kama uko uhai that means Mungu upon a lot of chances kwako kuna ile accident yenye ilifanyika githurai ule jamaa mwenye alikuwa ametoka Mombasa kununua gari alafu hiyo gari kaenda ikaraliwa na na gari nyingine nilikuwa naangalia ule mwanaume na ule mwanaume alikufa nilikuwa namuangalia nasema this man ame struggle amejinyima hajakura hajakunywa hmm? ameacha familia yake na shida ha? mpaka mpaka ameacha familia yake na shida maybe akatoka kwake na hizo pesa mpaka Mombasa akakuja akanunua gari lakini amefika pale gari ndio hiyo imeenda ile hmm? gari imemuua hivi so always remember kama uko hai you got another chance una struggle na hii maisha sana hmm? but remember one day one time Mungu anaweza kukupeleka mahali ukae chini ukule na mkunye na utulie so don't usiji stress sana kwa mambo yenye ina happen sana uh, at your arrive at the moment always remember tomorrow is better than today guys na mapenda sana and see you in the next video bye bye and much love Mwah. subscribe share my videos na like and comment bye bye guys